Hello, and welcome to another bowling game kata. Today we'll be switching up the language again and trying this in Ruby. Now I've written very close to zero Ruby code in my career, so we'll try to keep this syntactically correct as well as idiomatically correct, although no promises on that one because I've been told that my Ruby code looks like it was written by a C-sharp developer, which is probably a fair statement. So let's take a look at what we have here on our test file. We use RSpec as our test runner. We require the bowling game class, which currently has nothing in it. And we'll describe some behaviors for that class. So let's start off with a very simple one. Can create game. And in this case, we'll just initialize a game. That test fails expectedly because bowling game is an uninitialized constant. So let's create that class. And now the test passes. All right, no real refactoring to do yet. So let's move on to our first real test. Can roll gutter game. Create a game again. And 20 times we will roll a zero and we expect a score to equal zero. This will of course fail with a no method error because it doesn't know what roll is. It also doesn't know score, but we didn't get that far. So let's define both of those. Roll doesn't need to do anything yet. And score can just return a hard-coded zero for now. Test passes. No refactoring to do here. How about here? Yes, this first test is no longer needed because the new test validates the same thing. All right, so this test passes. Let's move on to our next test. Can roll all ones. Create a game again. We see something that can be refactored, but we'll wait until the right time to do that. We'll roll a 1 20 times. We expect that score to equal 20. This, of course, fails. We expected 20, got 0. So we need to implement this. Uh, let's create a class level array to hold our rolls. And let's push pins onto that. And here, let's see, we need to sum that array. I bet there's a really clean and neat way to do that in Ruby, but I don't know it, so I'll just do that manually. We'll need an aggregate value, and we'll need an indexer. And then 20 times, we will, uh, we will add to the aggregate value. And increment that indexer. Then we will just return the result, the aggregate value. Now I know that this is, this would definitely fail if we ever gave it a partially initialized game, or a partially completed game rather, but we don't have a test for that. So currently this passes. All right. Now we can do some refactoring here. Let's say uh, before we want to create a class level game. Now throughout here, we can just use that one. And so before is of course our bootstrapper that runs before each test. Still passes. Uh, we could probably refactor this, but I think the syntax is clean enough in Ruby that we could just leave it the way it is. So let's move on to our next test. Can roll a spare. Now we're going to say roll five, roll five again, roll three, and then 17 times We'll roll zero. We expect that score to equal 
let's see, 10 plus 3 plus another th an extra 3 should be 16. And this will fail because we got 13 instead of 16. Let's see. Well, we want to refactor this a little bit. We want to loop through frame by frame instead of uh, roll by roll since spares and strikes are frame level concepts. So we need to back this test out back to a green state and do a little refactoring here. So 10 times we are going to grab the entire frame and increment by 2, still pass. Alright, we can go back to this new failing test and now we can put some conditionals in here. If both of these together equal 10, then the result also gets that spare roll. Tests passed. Uh, we could probably do some refactoring here. We're starting to get a lot of references to this array and all these indexers. We can extract some of those into something a little cleaner. So let's define spare with a roll index. And spare is simply this logic right here. So if spare roll index test still pass. All right. We'll Doing pretty well here. I think we can do these next two in one go. And we'll call this other one, I think previously we called it normal score. I think this time I'm going to call it frame score. Pass. Let's see, we could probably make this a little bit cleaner. Sorry, 10. So it's more clear that we're talking about a spare in that case. We still pass. I'm uh, not really sure how to make these private or anything like that in Ruby, um, but I don't think we need to in this case. Let's move on to our next test. Can roll a strike. Start with rolling a 10, then we'll roll 4 and 3, and 16 times we'll roll a 0. Now what do we expect that to be? We expect that to be 10 plus these two as bonus rolls, plus these two also make up the next frame, so that would be 24. And we get Let's see, type error, nil can't be coerced into fixed num. That's that array out of bounds check, I bet. Because now we have a frame that's only one roll, and we're assuming here that there would always be two per frame. So I don't think we need to refactor that at this time. I think if we just implement strike, let's go with the pattern we've been using here. Strike would simply be if that one roll is a 10 and then strike score would simply be that. Alright, so if strike then Result plus equals oops, strike score, roll index, and roll index should only increment by one, which means this needs to be moved in here. And tests pass. All right, I think this is pretty clean. We don't need any refactoring here. We do need to 
uh, improve that array checking. We'll need more tests for that, probably outside the scope of this uh, of this particular kata. You know, just to give it one last test for that array, I also want to try something new. Can roll all spares. Oh wait, we forgot to test. Almost forgot my way through this kata. Can roll a perfect game. And this is 12 times. We roll strikes. And for a perfect game, we expect that score to equal 300. And it does. Tests pass. All right, let's move on to that additional test I was talking about. Can roll all spares, which is not a perfect game, but a fairly interesting game. And let's see, there would be two rolls per frame, plus one extra at the end. So that is uh, 21 times. We roll a 5. We expect that score. Let's see, if it's 15 points per frame, including that one at the end, then it would probably just be 150. And that test passes. Interesting. Okay. Well, so there are our tests. Nothing to refactor there. There's our class. Nothing to refactor there. So that's Pretty much it for the bowling game kata in Ruby. Um, trying to think of anything else I can do here to make this a little better, but uh, I think getting into that array checking is definitely outside the scope of this kata, but maybe we'll do that another time. Thanks for watching.